Welcome back to the Daily Plus Live. It's a live picture of Washington, D.C. and the Capitol, of course. All eyes are going to be on D.C. in just about a year and a half or so because it is never too early to start talking about the 2024 presidential election. It is not as far away as you think. We've already had the first Republican debate, and there are several polls out there with voters from both parties who are dissatisfied with the potential rerun match of President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden. So there has been a push for a third party. It's called the No Labels Party. It's already on the ballot in at least 10 states, but they don't even have a candidate yet. Former Michigan Congressman Fred Upton is part of the movement. He joins me now. Congressman, it's good to see you. It's always Fred. Nice to be with you guys. Good to be in Michigan, you know, that's for to, sure. You know I have to wait for you to allow to, 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 that it's okay for me to call you Fred so everyone at home doesn't don't think that I'm being rude. It's good to see you, Fred. Um, why don't you go ahead and uh, be, first before we get into what the criticism is of a potential third party run, tell us who is backing No Labels and what this party is really all about. Well, No Labels has actually been around for nearly 15 years. It's been a legislative function. I was, when I served in the House, I was a, a vice chair of the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus. A lot of members from Michigan, actually, Dave, uh, 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 Dan Kildee, Debbie Dingle, Peter Meyer, myself, uh, Alyssa Slotkin, we're all members. Uh, but no but no labels itself is more of a bicameral uh, bipartisan group, and they were really focused on legislative issues. How do we get through this gridlock? It was set up uh, by a Republican and Democrat, uh, different governors uh, many years ago. Uh, they were part of this overall uh, group, and, and now... <laughs> We know, and you run into this every day, including what I saw this morning, that people really do not, voters really do not want to rematch between Biden and Trump. A uh, good number of Democrats aren't really happy with, with Biden for lots of reasons. Same thing with, with Trump. Uh, literally, as polling will show, 70% of the American public doesn't want to rematch between the two. So No Labels is anxious to see if we can't provide a third alternative. Now, we're not going to run a candidate, but we're going to have perhaps access for a candidate, a bipartisan ticket, Republican and a Democrat running as a you know, on the president and vice president. And we're looking to get access on all 50 states. Uh, Ross Perot was able to do it back in 92, uh, 30 years ago. He got on all 50 states. We're, we've got ballot access already on 11 states. We're going to have a national convention in Dallas uh, come April next year. Our co-chairs, national co-chairs, are Larry Hogan, former Republican governor of Maryland, Pat McGorry, former Republican governor of North Carolina, Ben Chavis, uh, uh, former head of the NAACP, uh, as well as Joe Lieberman. Of course, he ran on a Democratic ticket a, a number of years ago, former U.S. senators. So, Fred, I think people, when they hear this and they think that there's, there hasn't been success with a third-party candidate before, and they also wonder, who does this hurt more? Which party could this potentially divide up more in terms of voters? Well, our polling actually shows that it takes equally from both sides. Uh, uh, equal numbers of Republicans and Democrats uh, not satisfied with their ticket. They would, in fact, entertain looking at a bipartisan ticket, but particularly to get out of the gridlock that we've been seeing in Washington, certainly this last year. I'm very worried, I got to say, about this month, September, the end of the fiscal year, now, this is the worst place we've ever been before in that you know, we've got no budget passed. Uh, the House has passed only one of the 12 appropriation bills. Remember, government shutdown at the end of the month, this month, if we don't get some action. Senate hasn't done any of the bills uh, on the Senate floor as well. And we literally have only about nine or 10 legislative days between now and the end of the fiscal year uh, without any progress in sight. So it's like when are these guys going to get their act together back in D.C.? Uh, the partisan sniping is so strong. And, and, and the, what, we, what we're seeing is that a bipartisan effort, particularly at the top of the ticket, may in fact be the, the winning ticket, uh, which is why we're working anxiously to see if we can't get this ticket or a ticket uh, on all 50 states' ballots. Can you concede, though, that this might be a very long shot? And also, when I'm thinking about raising the amount of money that it takes to be a successful presidential campaign, and you don't have a candidate yet, is there ever a part, a point where No Label says, you know what, 
this isn't a good idea and this isn't the time? Well, you know, Ross Perot 30 years ago actually got up as high as 39% before he dropped out and before he, he came back in. We actually think that if you appeal to the, that 70% that doesn't want uh, a rematch between Trump and Biden, if we get 53% of them, uh, the electoral map is one, and it would go through Michigan, is one that we can actually win uh, and not be a spoiler. You know, both sides, both the Democrats and the Republicans, they like it the way that it is, the DNC and the RNC. Uh, they want it one, one of their two. Uh, what they don't realize is, most Americans actually don't want the likely nominee, at least at this point, uh, the favorite uh, in terms of either Biden or Trump. But won't it also hinge on who you are able to find as the candidate in this, oh, in sure. this thing? So, for so, so your viewers can go on the nolabels.org website. Uh, they'll see that we launched about 40 different proposals uh, in, back in July. So they've got uh, nolabels.org. Uh, you can pull it off. It's called Common Sense. Uh, this is, in essence, sort of a, 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 a game plan. It's, uh, I think a lot of folks would agree that this is a, a pretty good place to be. You don't have the, the hard edge on either one side or the other. Uh, but we're going to have a process. Remember, we've got a national convention that's already set up for Dallas next year. But we'll have a process. I think we'll have a number of different Republicans and Democrats say, hey, you know, this, this might be something that, that I can support and, and, and be part of. Uh, we've raised a fair amount of money already. You know, we're uh, treated like any other charity organization in, in terms of uh, raising money uh, and not having to dis, uh, disclose uh, the folks that have contributed. But we've, we've raised tens of millions of dollars uh, for ballot access. As, a, as an insurance policy, just in case it really is a, a, a Trump and Biden rematch. And, and we have really until next summer to decide if we're not going to go ahead with oh. it, if we, our candidates are not right, or if, if you know, whatever the choices we have to right. make here. You know, we, we've got a lot of time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Former Congressman Fred Upton, thanks so much for joining us on this. And we'll have all this information on clickondetroit.com. We'll be watching. Thanks so much for joining us, sir. You bet.